guys, do we have to do cottage cheese ice cream? I don't like cottage cheese, but I'm gonna attempt this recipe anyway. I don't know how it's gonna taste, especially if I don't like cottage cheese. Stay tuned. So we're gonna add one of these, what is this, 16 ounces of cottage cheese. Now it says, ugh, small curd into the food processor. And we're gonna go ahead and add a third of a cup. I have allulose, you can use erythritol, stevia, monk fruit, whatever you want. And a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder. We're also gonna use a half a teaspoon of uh, vanilla. I'm gonna add a little bit more, because you know, I had to look this recipe up, because I didn't even know. Okay, we're gonna mix this up. Okay, that's a couple of minutes of beating the tar out of it. Let's see what it looks like. Consistency level. I mean, that's interesting. I beat it for about two minutes, some say four or five. Now I will admit, it actually smells like chocolate ice cream. And we're just gonna pop this in the freezer for a couple hours. Okay guys, I even timed this two hours according to Alexa. Oh crap. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Okay, I took the lid off. Okay, this looks pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna try it. Okay, here's my thought. The good news is it doesn't taste like cottage cheese. I wish my mind was gonna be blown and it's just not. So I put it in a little food processor here again with some swerved brown sugar and a little bit of extra allulose. Put it back in the tub. You'll notice it's definitely nicer. Let's just give this a shot. There we go. I'm so shocked. This is actually really good. You just need to find the right recipe. Okay, give it a try. Thanks for watching.